Hi everyone, it's me. Um, as you know, a few days ago, I got a, um, I got at least five to six positive pregnancy tests. And then the day before yesterday, I went and got a blood pregnancy test on 11 DPO. And, um, so, and it was negative. And y'all have probably seen my video. I got really upset about it. <clears throat> the reason I got upset is because it's pretty much the same concept as a miscarriage. And who knows, I might have had one. I don't know. I mean, I was only a week and a few days pregnant. So, I mean, it's very likely that I did have one, you know. But... It's the same concept, that's why it broke my heart, and I'm still really struggling with it, um, because it's just like a miscarriage, you find out the baby's there, and you get all excited, and we were already planning which room we were going to turn into a baby room, how we were going to tell our parents, and etc., and our families, and our friends, and all of this stuff. Just for it to turn out negative, either I lost a baby or I somehow just got five or six pregnancy tests that had a faint line and a dark line, which what are the odds of that? And on different days of that, three of them I got on 8DPO, but the other two I got two other days, so... I mean, what are the likelihood of that? Um, in my heart, I feel like it's the same pain as if I had a miscarriage. You know, it's the same thing. You you can't feel the baby, but you know you find out the baby's there. And you get all excited, and then it happens, and you're like, oh, you know, your world comes crashing down. And that's exactly how I felt about it. And it's been really, really hard, guys. Um... The first day I went to work after I made that video, my last video, and it was very hard. It hit me off and on through the day. I didn't let anybody know what was going on, but it would hit me off and on, and I cried off and on all day. And yesterday was a little easier, but until I went to church, and it never failed, two newborns sat behind me. And every time I could hear their little moans or cries, it just cut me, you know. It just hurt my heart, you know, and just was a reminder. And so, also, this is also a cool thing. And I think what's kind of gave me a little peace about it is like yesterday afternoon, I was thinking about it while I was working along. And, you know thinking, God, why? Why did this happen to me? Why did you let it happen? And Or, well, he didn't let it happen, but why did it happen? And, just talking to him in my mind about it. And all of a sudden, I believe it was him. He popped that song. If you never heard it, then you might want to listen to it. If you're going through any trials or tribulations in your life. Um, it's called When God Unfolds the Rose. <clears throat> and Timothy Spell is who sings it. But some of the lyrics are like, When God unfolds the rose, he always gets it right. When the petals are in place, it's such a beautiful sight. God knows when to hold on and he knows when to let go. So let God have his way and watch God unfold the rose. That's the chorus of it. And the verses are beautiful. It's a gorgeous song. But I feel like God laid that on my head. I mean, on my mind. And, I mean, I was all sad and praying. And then that just popped in my head. And I was like, okay, God, you've got this. You know, as hard as it is for me to trust you with this whole baby situation, he let me know that he has it. And yes, when I got home, I listened to that song. And of course, tears were flowing down my face because it really ministered to me. But 
I'm just going to try to keep my head up. And um, also, yesterday I went, my nurse, the nurse from my doctor's office called me and told me it was negative. I guess she didn't know the receptionist told me. And so they want me to come in next Tuesday or Wednesday for another blood pregnancy test. They want to make sure that I'm not pregnant before they start me on something to have a cycle again and Clomid and all of that. So anyways, there's an update. Thank you for watching and God bless y'all. And please subscribe if you haven't already.